Hi, it's Jim with Janku with another GIMP tutorial. Today I'm going to look at making a repeating pattern with GIMP using the map tile. So I'm going to start off by creating a new canvas here. I'm going to set the background to transparency and I'm just going to leave the default height and width. And in here I'm going to create a new layer on the right hand panel. In this layer, I'm actually just going to make it a 50 by 50 canvas and say OK. And you can see that makes this little tiny canvas over here. And, you know, I'm actually going to come and I'm going to draw a circle. So I'm going to start at the top corner here and I'm going to draw it down to the bottom corner. I'm actually going to hold down shift to make sure it's a perfect circle and get that pretty close to the edges there. Let's just zoom in, make sure that looks okay. Okay, and then I'm going to paste my foreground color into that circle. And then I'm going to undo my selection and zoom out a little bit. So from here, if I have this layer selected with our circle, I can come up to our filters and I can go down to the map and then create a new tile here. When I create the tile, I'm just going to bump up the size here. I'm going to make it maybe 2,000 by 2,000 pixels. And then I'm going to say OK. And that will create a new section over here with this repeated automatically for me. So I didn't have to go and manually draw all those little circles. So from there, I can use this to create a couple of interesting things. Let me just demonstrate one of them. So I'm going to turn off my layer over here that I initially created. And I'm going to go to my background canvas and I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to start by writing some text so let me grab my text tool and I'm just going to say hello world and then from there I'm going to right click inside my text and I'm going to make a path from the text and if I go over to my paths panel here you can see I can toggle on this path. I'm going to put that on real quick. I don't really need this hello text or hello world text layer anymore, so I can just turn that off. And when I have my path here, if I use my path tool and I come and I make sure that the path is selected, I can actually make a selection from the path. And then from there, I could actually come over to my panel over here. I'm going to copy this whole thing with a control C. I'm going to come back over to my main layers section over here. I'm just going to control V paste this onto our canvas. And I'm going to, it says it's a floating section. I'm going to right click and make this a new layer. And now we have the, our hello world overlaid on this, uh, this background that we've created. And actually my selection is gone. So I'm going to do that one more time. So I have my path selected currently. I'm going to do selection from path. From here, I could just control X to cut, and then I could control V and paste that to its own layer. And I'm just going to turn off these other layers here. And I'm going to make my turn off my path. And I'm going to unselect my path tool so I can see what's going on. So now I have this kind of hello world text with the background image splice in there. It kind of looks like a cow to me. And you can start doing different text treatments with it. So for instance, maybe I want to make the background color a light blue. So I, I would go to my background canvas, grab my paint can and paste there. And then, you know, maybe I don't like how this black and white looks on the blue background. So I could come in here and I could actually use the color select tool. And if I go to my text layer, I could select all the, the little black circles in there. And then I could come to my color and maybe I just want this to be a darker blue, something like that. And I could come in and I could grab my paint can. And if I were to paste in here, it's likely only going to paste one little section. But if I hold down shift and I paste, it's going to paste it to all the different sections. So now if I do a control A to unselect and I click my background again, you can see that it has a different kind of treatment to it. So it pops a little more. So this pattern might not, you know, suit your fancy, but with this technique of using the filter map tile, you can actually go and you can create different text treatments and do some interesting things with that. You could also overlay this over other types of images as well. 
Hopefully that helps you out and stay tuned for more GIMP tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching.